Hi, welcome to another lesson from LessonPlanVideos.com. Today we're looking at the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games website. Starting in one month time down in Australia, we've got the Commonwealth Games where all the nations of the Commonwealth get together to compete in an Olympic-like event. Uh, and there's a lot of competition going on, so if you like sport, this is the place to be. This is the official site, www.melbourne2006.com.au and on the site is a lot of information but tends to be hidden uh, amongst the links. It's probably not the best uh, site that I've ever used. I think that a lot of the stuff isn't where it should be. But if we have a look down here, we'll start with something that's quite obvious. The first is the mascot for the games. The mascot is called Carrick and if we go there, they actually have a whole section on him. Now, if we scroll down, if we go here, it tells you about Carrick, but it tells you about Carrick in the real sense, and that is that he's a red-tailed black cockatoo, and they're an endangered species. So, having a look through there, you'll find out more about that, and how you could help um, protect this bird. They're a beautiful bird, and they're absolutely huge. Occasionally, get them fly past my place, or their re relatives anyway. That's the southeastern red-tailed black cockatoo. So that's the mascot, and you can read a bit more about that. You've got Carrick's story over on the side here, and Carrick Jr. and Carrick Photo Gallery, and you can see all sorts of different uh, photos in there. If we get back home again, the next thing I'd like to look at is the section called Getting Involved. Now. This is what I mean when I say that some things are hidden. If we go into getting involved, in there is all about the games. It, it strikes me as not the sort of place you put about information about the games itself, but this is where they've managed to hide it. So if we go into about the games, this is where students will find all the information that they need that, to look for about the history of the games, the facts and the figures about Melbourne, and all the competing countries. So if you're trying to find out the competing countries, here they are here, and then if you pick one, say the Cook Islands, it'll take you down to just a, a nice little bit of information about them. So population, capital, language, religion, and the uh, general information about the country. So that's under getting involved and about the games. In history, it runs through the basic history of the games there. Certainly enough information for the average primary school student. Uh, to find out about the games. And uh, last but not least, the facts and figures tells you all about the, the games and the Melbourne games and the costs and all of that sort of stuff. Let's go back home again. We, uh, if we come down to sports and venues on the side menu here, you'll see now that down the side here we've got a whole range of sports. So if we go into, uh, say, badminton, we can scroll down, it tells us about badminton and how long it's been in the Commonwealth Games. And then there's some links here too, uh, it's like Badminton Australia and the International Badminton Federation, etc. Uh, if we go into athletics, again, more information, track and field, the events that are being held and uh, for the field events there and the walks. So all of that's explained there under sports and venues. And running back to home again. The last thing I'll show you is the Queen's Baton Relay. This is a bit like the Olympic flame. We can follow the, the actual baton as it moves from uh, England all the way around the world to Australia and there's a lot of special things about the actual baton and it's worth reading about the baton because it has a GPS in it to track where it is as well as a small camera which you can see here and it actually films where it goes and you can see little live webcasts and video highlights and things like that. So it, it's an entirely different way of looking at it. It's a very high-tech pattern, no flame at all from what I could see, and nice coloured uh, lights flashing up and down. It play different patterns depending on uh, how long it is from getting to its final destination or where it is in the world. So there's a little picture of Carrick holding it there. And so that's the Commonwealth Games site for the Melbourne 2006 Olympic Games. So there's a lot here that your students can research or read, so Enjoy the site and I'll see you next time you visit our site.